Good morning, third graders, and welcome. Today we're going to talk about how to write three-digit numbers in unit form and model the value of each digit in the number. Let's remember a couple things about place value from last year. Remember, in any number, this number is 283, there are digits, and the digits are in certain place values. Those place values determine what each digit is worth, or its value. The value is what the digit is worth in a number. In this number, 3 is in the 1's place. This means that I would count by 1 3 times to show its value. 1, 2, 3. That 3 is worth just 3. In this number, 8 is in the 10's place. That means that I have 8 groups of 10 in the number. To count these, I would count by 10's because each one has 10 ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 8 tens means that 8 is worth 80. In this number, the 2 is in the hundreds place. That means I would count by 100 to find its value. 100, 200. We can also write numbers in unit form when we know which place each digit is in. In the number 327, the 7 is in the 1's place, the 2 is in the 10's place, and the 3 is in the 100's place. So to write the number in unit form, I'm going to say how many of each place value I have. There are 3 hundreds, two tens, and seven ones. I can represent my number now using base 10 blocks to help me find the value of each digit. Seven in the ones place means that there are seven ones in my number. Two in the tens place means that there are two tens in my number. And three in the hundreds place means that there are three hundreds in my number. So I have three hundreds, two tens, and seven ones. Because the three is in the hundreds place, the two is in the tens place, and the seven is in the ones place. What is the value of that three? Well, that three doesn't just stand for three ones, it stands for three hundreds. I can count them by counting by 100, 100, 200, 300. The value of the 3 is 300. It is a 3 in the hundreds place. What is the value of the 2? Well, 2 is in the tens place. So 2 doesn't just stand for 2. I have two tens. I can count by 10, 10, 20. The value of the 2 is 20 because there are two tens. What is the value of the seven? Seven is in the ones place, so I can count by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The value of the seven is just seven. Seven ones. Let's look at another example. Write 572 in unit form. In this number, two is in the ones place, 7 is in the tens place, and 5 is in the hundreds place. We know that that means that there are going to be 5 hundreds, 7 tens, and 2 ones. I'm going to represent those with place value blocks now. Now that I've represented my number using base 10 blocks, it's easy for me to figure out the value of each digit, or what each digit is worth. What is the value of the 5? Well, 5 is in the hundreds place, so each one is worth 100. I have to count by 100 five times. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. The 5 is worth 500 because it is in the hundreds place. What is the value of the 7? 
The seven is in the tens place. So I need to count by tens. I have seven tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. The seven is worth 70 because there are seven tens. What is the value of the two? The two is in the ones place. So I'm going to count by one. One, two. The value of the two is two, or just two ones. Let's look at another example. This time we're given a number in unit form, and we need to write it in standard form before we find the value of each digit. Write two hundreds, eight tens, and four ones in standard form. I can plug that right into my place value chart. There are two hundreds, eight tens, and four ones. So my number written in standard form is 284. I'm going to represent that number now using base 10 blocks. As you can see, because there was a two in the hundreds place, I have placed two hundreds. Because there was an eight in the tens place, I have placed eight tens. And because there was a four in the ones place, I have placed four ones. Now I'm ready to find the value of each digit. What is the value of the two? Two is in the hundreds place, so I have two hundreds. I'm going to count by 100. 100, 200. What is the value of the eight? Eight is in the tens place. I see that I have eight tens. I'm going to count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. The 8 is worth 80. What is the value of the 4? Four? 4 is in the 1's place, so I'm going to count by 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. The 4 is simply worth 4. You've done a great job with this video. Do a great job with your practice.